Hello, this video is about a Caterpillar uh, 226 skid steer, 2003. It has uh, 1,200 hours on it. So about three years after I bought it, I got a, a hydraulic leak in it. <clears throat> and so it would only really, uh, you'd notice it in the summer. And we're talking maybe like half a quart a year. Uh, so not a whole lot of oil leaking. So I searched and searched and searched, and I finally figured out where it was. It was right between these two pumps, the main uh, drive pump and then the auxiliary or the, the machine pump. There was a little O-ring right there that had a defect in it and would only leak when it would get warm. And so I always thought it was down in the hoses because it would drip down into the belly pan there. And uh, it was really hard to diagnose. <clears throat> so I'd clean it up. Started cold with the cab up, nothing. Couldn't, couldn't figure it out. So I finally, real hot day, I washed it all and then worked it hard, lifted the cab and then one little drip. I finally figured it out. So to do this, you obviously have to take the pump off here. And what you wanna do is break the seal on your, uh, your inlet, which is like a siphon feed. If you don't do that, you'll put three gallons of oil down in your belly pan like I did. So you break the seal here, no more siphon. You can take the clamp off, pull this off. <clears throat> and then you also have to come around to this side. You have to take this fitting off here. So the four bolts, it's kind of a real fancy, uh, or not fancy, but just unique way it clamps on. It's like a split. So. It, when you take it off, it looks like it's going to be hard to put back on, but it's not. So you definitely want to put another uh, O-ring in this here. And then, of course, this fitting comes off. This one, you can take this whole hose right off. This, this one supplies into the pump body there. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, all told, those two O-rings was like $10 Canadian. So, I mean, that's from Caterpillar. And then I'm going to put a new oil filter on. So the total bill with oil was like $270. If I wouldn't have lost all the oil, then, you know, it would have been $100 cheaper. That was my fault. <clears throat> and I'll tell you one thing. If you get these, uh, those pet kennels that have a tray like this, it fits under this thing perfect. Caught all the oil. So it made a little bit easier cleanup. So hopefully this helps somebody. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.